Hello and welcome to the Sega News Bits. I'm your host, George. With me is Barry. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about Sega announcing Sega 3D Archives 3 Final Stage, which is a collection of Sega 3D classics on the 3DS. They release them physically. They've done, th- this is the third volume in Japan. We've only gotten one of the volumes, and that's volume two as Sega 3D Classics Collection. And we talked about that before. Your thing to click on to hear us talk about that. But today we're talking about Sega 3D Archives 3 Final Stage that's only been announced for Japan and they've confirmed some of the games that will be in this collection, which means these are already available digitally, but these will be the five games they've announced so far that we know of. Afterburner 2, Super Hang-On, Streets of Rage 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Gunstar Heroes. Uh, They also announced one new game that we've never seen before. And this was part of a survey they took for Sega Japan fans, and that's Turbo Outrun. And uh, what do you think about this collection so far? Um, I think it's a pretty great collection. I know past collections, we gave them a little shit for just, uh, for example, Sega 3D Classics Collection, the uh, the second volume, which released in the US. It had, uh, you know, the Genesis version of Altered Beast, not the greatest game. It had Sonic the Hedgehog, which, you know, is a great game, but it's been on so many platforms. Uh, but with this one, I think it's a much better cross-section of great Sega titles. You know, you get, I mean, I'll just run through them, you just set them. Afterburner 2 and Super Hang-On are fantastic arcade releases. Turbo Outrun, I think, makes this a must-buy. Streets of Rage 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 are some of Sega's best sequels. And Gunstar Heroes, I didn't expect, because I thought there was maybe some issue with Treasure, meaning they couldn't put it on the compilation, but here it is, and it's one of the best treasure games on the Genesis, in my opinion. I agree, and uh, they're gonna release nine games, so there's still at least three more to announce. Uh, One of the titles is going to be debuted at the Tokyo Game Show, apparently. So it's a big game. Well, they did a survey, right? We know that Turbo Hour was number one, but the other games that people really wanted included Wing War, Game Ground, Outrunners, Virtual Racing, which is kind of an interesting list because it's not what I expected from people in Japan, but this is what they wanted. What do you think about that? I mean, Outrun and Outrunners and Virtual Racing for sure, but Game Ground, I, that's not a game that screams, I gotta play this in 3D, <laughs> you know? Uh, no, I agree. It's kind of weird, but eh, whatever. The collection is going to hit Japanese retail on December 22nd, 2016. And they'll, they're going to release also another cart that's a triple pack with all three volumes in one. So my question for you, Barry, is should Sega even uh, like release this volume separately or should they just release the triple pack in one? and just call it quits. Or um, I mean, if they released all three of them over here, that would be great, though it probably would be pretty confusing just because volume one here, which isn't even a volume, it's just a standalone release, would have to be, volume two for them would be one for us. And then what would two one be? One would be two and then three. It's like as confusing as the Final Fantasy numbering, you know? <laughs> so I'm saying if they released one cartridge with all three volumes, would that be better than just releasing them separately? Oh, for sure. But then you got to imagine that people are going to be pissed off that the the first release had so few games. I agree with that. I, I would like to see this one particularly just because of how good the games are on it. The first collection's a pretty good lineup, but this one I think is uh, definitely, and you know, they could be adding some more Sega Master System games. Uh, so we'll see. They could add a lot of things. Uh, I think the next big game they're gonna announce is gonna be pretty big because it's gonna be at Tokyo Game Show. So maybe we'll be in for surprise. Let us know what you want to see in this collection and if Sega should bring it west. Let us know in the comments below. Do you like Sega? Do you want Sega news? Visit SegaBits.com and don't forget to visit us on all of our major social networks.